This is my computer setup. It's very simple, just a monitor above a laptop. And if you use this configuration, you know that to actually see your monitor, you need to raise it up either by attaching it to the wall or putting it on a stack of books, or in my case, on a cardboard box. I'd rather not mount this to the wall and the cardboard box is ugly, not very stable and takes up a lot of desk space. So I thought, I wonder if I can 3D print a better solution. So the box that my monitor is currently sitting on is four inches tall, which is a pretty good height, but it would be nice to have some adjustability, especially when I build my laptop stand, which I desperately need because this thing is always overheating. You can see right now I have it propped up on a tape measure and a little roll of electrical tape. So let's lay this down. So this is what the front feet look like. Just a little pad right here and there's a bit of a brim running around. So if we find the internal distance of that brim and we could kind of have it slot into this outside part as well. So down here for our back leg, Honestly, I might just take a picture of that so I can sketch that more complicated shape. Get my ruler next to it. I might just have the back foot sit in this rectangle because we already have a nice inset there. And just to verify my picture, I'll get some dimensions here. And maybe this dimension. I got these quarter 20 carriage bolts that I want to use to make adjustable feet. So we'll need some dimensions off of those. So the head diameter, head depth, square depth is 0.135 inches. I want to use these nuts to thread the carriage bolts, so I'll need the dimensions of those as well. So the width and the depth, 0.22 inches. We're in Fusion 360, and the first thing we're going to do is input all of those dimensions as user parameters. So we'll go to modify, change parameters, and start working our way down the list. So we got stand height, rectangle height, head diameter, nut width. All right, a lot of dimensions, but we got them all in. Let's start with the screw on feet that will attach to the carriage bolts. I want to print these out of TPU so they have a rubbery texture. So I'll create a cylinder on the XY plane. I think one inch in diameter should be good. And for the height, let's make those one inches tall. Then I'll create another cylinder on the bottom. This is going to countersink the head under the surface. Lovely. Then I'll create a new sketch inside there. Rectangle from the center. This is gonna be the cutout for that little square on the carriage bolt. We can extrude that downwards by square depth. And just make sure, we might need to add a bit of clearance. We don't want too tight of a hip fit because we want this to slide in. So I'll go back to that sketch and change it to square side plus 0 0.005. And then finally, we can create another cylinder inside of here. Pull that all the way through, okay. And there we go. Those are pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and get that printing while I continue on the rest of the design. So I'll print this on this face so we don't need any support material. I'm gonna try printing this with 20% infill. That should be a good balance of speed and rigidity. Awesome, so there's the first foot. And since I printed it out of TPU with 20% infill, it does have some flex to it. Let's check the fit of the bolt. Nice, sliding through as planned. Make sure this square is aligned with that little square in there. Oh, there we go. Nice, now it's in. Now since the weight is gonna bear directly on the carriage bolt, we need to add a plug to the bottom so that the bolt doesn't just pop right through the foot. So there are my plugs. Oh, perfect. I almost don't want to push that in all the way because I don't know if I'll be able to get it out. Actually, I will be able to get it out. Oh, look at that. So now if I just push on this, there we go, it'll come right out. Ah, perfect. Mix up some five minute epoxy. little inside there. So this will be the bottom of our foot. So I'm gonna construct an offset plane from there. I'll bring it upwards and this will be minus stand height. 
So I'll create a new sketch on this plane, turn off my foot. I'll create a center rectangle, internal width of the front. And then for the length, we can pretty much make this whatever we want. I'll make it an inch long. We can extrude this upwards, internal depth front. And the front edge of the stand is filleted. So I'll fill it both of these corners, internal width of the front divided by two. I'll create a sketch on top of the foot. We'll create a polygon. It's gonna be circumscribed. And then this is going to be nut width divided by two. And I'm just gonna extrude this and make a new body so we have a visual representation of our nut. So nut depth, perfect. If I turn this back on, I'll change my visual style to shaded with hidden edges. So that nut is really close to the edge of this piece, which means that this piece needs to be wider down near the screw on foot. So I think we should do a loft from this profile up to here. There we go. It's a really cool shape. And we can do a combine to cut out the space for that nut. And then we need a cutout for our bolt to pass through. And we want lots of room. So I'm gonna make this 0.3 inches in diameter so it can easily pass through there. We can pull that all the way through to the top. And then there's that little lip that we have to go around. So I'll offset this again. We can extrude this upwards. Now we can create another loft. So we want a loft from there to here. Perfect, okay. So I think I'm gonna slice this just to test the fit of this top part. And I'm only gonna print this little part here. So here's the test piece for our front leg printed out of PETG. Let's go see how it fits. Nice, okay, we're very close. I think we might just need to add a little clearance inside and that will be a perfect fit. Lovely. So I modified the design and this is the final front leg printing out of PETG with 15% infill. If you'd like to directly support this channel, I have a Patreon page which I'll link in the description. There are some cool benefits over there like stickers, a patrons exclusive Instagram page, and in video credits for my top supporters. To learn more, visit patreon.com slash morleykurt. For the back leg, I'm gonna insert a canvas using one of those pictures I took, and I'll try to rotate it so that it's sort of parallel to the grid lines in Fusion. Calibrate, I'll go from one to two inches. I can find the midpoint of this line, rectangle height. We can mirror this line and create some arcs for our corners. This doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna inset all of these lines anyway. Double click, offset, what would be a reasonable amount of clearance? I think if we go by 0.03 inwards, that'll give us enough space. And then we wanna offset this again, cause we can't hit this sort of key in the middle. And we'll extrude that by the back depth. Now it's a little annoying that this is the top of our back foot, but it's way down here. And the top of our front foot is way up here. But we can do something kind of cool. We can redefine a sketch plane. So if I right click on this sketch, I can go to redefine sketch plane and I wanna go on this offset plane. Click okay, and now our body is up here with our other foot. So we need to make sure that these heights are the same. So if I go to my first foot, I will measure from here to here. So that distance is 3.385 inches, and I'll make that a new parameter, call that leg height. I'll make a new offset plane down from the top by minus leg height. And then on this plane, I'll draw a circle that is one inch in diameter, the same as our foot. Now we can do a loft from this profile and we can loft to here. Beautiful. So again, before committing to printing this whole thing, I'm gonna slice off the top of this so I can check the fit in the monitor. I modified the design a little bit to include this rim, which I think should help for a more secure attachment. Let's see how it fits. Oh yeah, that is perfect. All right, let's print the full size. This looks so cool. Hmm. 
mix up some epoxy. Put a little on top of there. And we can use the screw on foot to clamp it in place. We only really need epoxy around this outer rim. Perfect. We can leave that to cure. Just carefully slide this out. Take out the box. And just screw these back in. Now I have all of that desk space back. Oh, the height is perfect. And once I build a proper monitor stand, I can raise this up even more. That's great. I promise I'll get these cables organized one day. If you enjoyed this video, I have a bunch of other videos on functional 3D prints that I'll link over here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.